Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Lance's Garage. Today we are finally going to get to a piece that's been needed on the 2017 Volkswagen Alltrack. As you've known in previous videos, we did a uh, IS38 and a HPA downpipe. Well, we kept the stock exhaust. And with the engine being an air pump, stock exhaust is now the restriction. So, we are going to be installing an AWE touring exhaust on this uh, all track. So part of the problems with having a uh, either the Golf Sport Wagon or an all track is that the GTI exhausts don't work because they're longer. So you, the only manufacturer I know that I've seen up to this point that has an exhaust is AWE. I've heard a lot of good things about them from the people that have gotten them. It's supposed to be really good stuff. So first let's go over, uh, I ordered this from ECS Tuning on their latest sale. Uh, I believe they were having uh, about 15% off. Um, this is a 100% stainless system. Uh, it looks like it's well packaged. Um, got your tips in here i went with the chrome uh or the stainless polished stainless uh tips because i think it's just what this bar is, is what it needs um comes with all the band clamps here packaged nicely they give you a nice uh blow pop so we've got that we've got the actual Exhaust here. Set this over here on the grass. Uh, looks like they might have some drains coming into them, also. Got the split. Resonator and the connection pipe. This is weird. So that hit me. Yes. So basically, the back pipe, the pipe from the uh, where the existing exhaust ends, the splitter, and then the two exhaust chambers. The tips and then all the bands so first thing we're going to do is remove the stock exhaust off of the back of this and this should be a one piece exhaust um, I have done a, a, a GTI um, exhaust before and it was a one piece on it I'm pretty sure this is going to be one piece too uh, it might be a little cumbersome just because the you can see it's pretty wide here so we'll probably just put this the ramps will actually help me here with this um but uh pretty sure we'll just have to climb underneath take a look see what's going on i think this will be easy maybe five hangers some pv blaster uh to get it off and then just slide it out the back and then the new one, of course, going in in pieces should be much easier. But uh, it's packaged well. Shipping was very quick. I was pleasantly surprised. It actually showed up a day or two before I expected it. Um, so again, great service with ECS Tuning. They're not sponsoring this video. Um, they have given me a shirt before. But I buy most of my stuff for Volkswagen through them just because I've had great service and they they were running a deal on this where awe direct was not so just the right time to do it and something i've been needing to get done and just happened to see the cell pop up in my text messages from ecs so decided to go ahead and bite the bullet so let's get started on this all right so we're under the car here so as we can see stock exhaust coming from the back forward there's a hanger on each side here i'm gonna go ahead 
Probably juice those with some PB blaster because those are going to be, I'm sure, a pain to get out of here. We slide up, they come into the join here. Um, then it comes up. It doesn't appear to be okay. There's a hanger right here. So as the join pipe comes up, this is a big resonator chamber. You saw the smaller one that's going to be replacing this. Also, the pipe is much thicker. Then this is where my HPA downpipe ends. Um, actually, uh, no, this is, this is the adapter, so this is going to be about right here. I need to check and make sure everything's going to be good. In an ideal world, we would go from that size to that, to the same size right here without the thing. Um, maybe I'm going to have to delay this. We'll see. Let me just look at a few things. But there is a hanger also right here to the uh, back of the resonator, or the, I'm sorry, the front of the resonator. So there is one, two, three, four hangers on this setup. So I'm going to go check. A look at the exhaust real quick before I start going into this. I'm pretty sure these are 13s. Uh, I got a video on the install of all this. Um, and we can go from there. I might be able to go back to chickens here. Alright. Alright, there was one more piece in the kit. It was this uh, Basically a three into maybe a two and a half. Um, probably what I need to look at doing is seeing about getting a three to a three connector from uh, HPA. I don't know if I get that from HPA or AWE. Or just maybe just get a three inch piece of stainless and cut to length that might be another option too so for now i might just go with this and uh just uh just to get it installed right now okay so this is a 13 millimeter uh right here I this is a stock clamp but don't want to take it all the way off slide out actually we'll put it where it is because next thing we want to do is start working on getting these disconnected so we're probably going to need to get a uh, pry bar to do that would be my guess all right so <coughs> excuse me so basically I'm starting to remember from my GTI uh, install or you gotta take these off, which apparently are 13. So the, that'll these will come off because you can only pull these out. You can only pull these out when the uh, when this is down off the ground or this is out of the car. <coughs> so we'll need to take that off and that off at the end. We'll now need to pry uh, this the two orange hangers. We'll pry off. Uh, once we get that, we'll disconnect the two. So let's start with prying these off. Okay, so first thing I did here is I pushed this. I'm starting with the mode one because it's easier to get to. Push this in a little bit. Then you can get a flathead screwdriver, a very small one in here. And then I'm going to lift this up like that or pry it a little bit. And then I'm just going to... Let's see if I can get this guy. It's starting to come off, but oh. okay. Just gotta pry this off a little bit more. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can get a better thing, but I'm gonna get the screwdriver in and then just kind of work it around, get it up over this lip. 
and then go from there. Okay, so I got the lip mostly done here, so I'm gonna just keep working this. There it goes. I mean, you gotta be careful, there's a lot of sharp stuff down here. Okay, so it's in there now, so now I can just manhandle it. Let's try not to have the camera hit me in the face. Okay, there we go. All right, so the mid one's out. This one up here is going to be a little difficult because there's not room to get a screwdriver in there easy like I did. So I might go get like a small Allen wrench and work it in here and do the same thing. And then once I have that, we can focus on the two rear hangers and uh, go from there. But let me go get a small Allen wrench real quick and we will do all right, so I got a 1 8 inch Allen. I'm gonna just kind of work it underneath of here and then do the same thing, just get it up over the lip here. And then I can pry it off by hand. Hopefully it's not about to thunderstorm here. So I might have to cut this video short today, uh, but we'll see. Okay, change of plan. This is, all you gotta do is put your pry bar right here against the resonator and it will and then just pry make sure you spray plenty of juice on it and it will pop loose so there we go that is out so that is the two hangers now all we got to do is pull these two 13s off and then we'll be able to do this guy uh outside i remember we're doing the gti exhaust on a mark eight these got to come out to do it because you got to manhandle them on the ground. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hoping that this uh, storm goes just to the south of us here and I can keep going, but might have to quit. But now I'm going to just take, I believe it's two 13s. Uh, I'm going to need to get an extension real quick. Come up here and remove this bolt and this bolt all right so it is a 13 i got the wrench here it is starting to rain a little bit i'm gonna try and get this at least out so you're gonna start dropping this i've got this crossbar here i would have something to or another piece of hands or a piece of wood running across here because this is gonna drop and then we're gonna slide it straight out the back here so uh i'm gonna do this Make sure you don't lose that bolt. And then this one. Okay. So make sure you don't lose these bolts. All right. So so there we go. Now it's out. We can bring this through here and it will slide directly out the back. This is a big heavy piece, so just be aware of that. Also, this will fall on this. So let's just go ahead and... Okay, so now that's disconnected there. This is the HPA. This is their adapter for a stock exhaust. And I need to probably see about getting bigger one here but uh, I will contact maybe AWE and HPA and see which way to go for that but now all we gotta do is just slide this exhaust out the back and that's what I'm gonna do all right so that's all one piece so these hangers we're gonna reuse so what we're gonna do is now that we got this off we can come in there with a uh, screwdriver work this out and then we'll have to manhandle these off these tooth hangers uh, the storm might miss us we might get lucky i think it's more that way but if i gotta cut and run i gotta run this stuff in real quick so it's iffy right now but i'm gonna remove these hangers 
very quickly. Gotta find what I do with my screwdriver. Probably underneath the car, of course. Or do I throw it somewhere? So anyway, let me go find that and then I will show you how this is done. All right, so with these out, uh, all we gotta do here is we're gonna try and set this in the grass here. Good. Just come like this. Or it might be easier just to come over on the far side. And like I said, this is a pain. I remember we're doing this for the GTI. It is. That's why you gotta take these off. There's no way you're doing this in the car, I don't think. And it is, rain's picking up here. Just keep working at it and it will come off. <clears throat> There's probably a tool to make this easier that Volkswagen engineers have in a freaking cabinet somewhere, but for the regular man, just gotta work. Actually, I might go get a Phillips just to roll it off. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna put a Phillips underneath it here because it gives you a little bit more of a rounded surface to work with. There we go. Okay, it's starting to get around there now. Yeah, now, see it's over the lip here. And now I just gotta work it off. You just gotta keep working it around here. Just be careful you don't wanna cut this thing because you gotta reuse it. So. All right, there it goes. There we go. Pain in the butt, but that's one. We'll just repeat it for this. I'm not gonna show you. Yeah. 
Just keep working and it'll come out. Oops. That's actually through that centerpiece right now. And we won't be reusing this, so. Or reusing the anything off of the exhaust itself. Just need the hanger. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> Here we go. Both of them are off. This thing is no no longer needed. I'm just going to stick this hanger here because it's off of that side. And this hanger here because it's off of this side. And I'm going to give this weather a few minutes to uh, clear up here. I want to have moved the... Uh, AW exhaust just inside for a minute. Gonna just put some tools uh, under cover here. Give us a few minutes and then I'll come back and uh, we'll start the installation of the uh, AWE. All right, storm has passed us. So I'm just getting things set back up to get to work. This is gonna be the uh, midsection. This is gonna be obviously the rears and the Y. So first thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to put back in these the stock hangers on the back here so that we'll be able to uh, mount these exhaust in and go from there. All right, so that's the stock hole. Just start it by hand there. Make sure you don't cross there or anything. Come on, other side here, and let's do the same. Just get them kind of mostly so if we can, hey, still move that, just so we can adjust them here. All right, so just gonna do that for the moment. Next thing we're gonna do is back up here, grab this pipe. And it is going to slide from that way into here. Let's see if we can kind of get something set up here that looks kind of, kind of shows you what's going on here. You can work this guy. So there's a this adapter pipe, and I've already got a this on here. So then we're gonna come up. You can put your hanger, orange hanger, get that started. Actually, we will do that after we get at least the store of the pipe in here. So you wanna get that in here. not good hold on this hanger so this hanger right here oh that is crap it's like right so right where this guy comes together here unfortunately is where this guy is so oof. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to flip this guy, take this back off, flip this so that it's over this way. It's still gonna be right there. That is such a horrible place. Um, yeah, this is the type of stuff that happens. So I think that's as close as these two are gonna get to these two pipes. I'm pretty sure. It's not going any further that way. It does appear to be lined up right this way. Uh, all right, well, we'll keep putting her together and see what happens here. Because it's going to need to be some adjustments and stuff. And we'll see how this goes. But I probably should, because I was going to put this like so. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Huh, that ain't it's not because you got your drive shaft above if you got the all-wheel drive car, so that ain't gonna Whew. okay. Let me see if I can rotate it up like that. And then if I do the wrench from this way, it's gonna suck, but it might work. Actually, that might work right there. Maybe I'll just come down. It's a horrible way to do it, but since the clamp is right here anyway, I don't think I got another way I can do it because this crossbar is in the way. Unless I pull, you can remove this crossbar. I know that from doing the, uh, huh, maybe, ooh, that's just gross. All right, let me think on this. Also, I wanted to show you real quick. Wind's picking back up again. So you can look through this guy here. So it's pretty much straight. There might be like some baffles in there, but it should be a lot less restrictive than that mouse, which is made to be quiet, right? All this is designed to quiet things down, resonate. This is not. So, other problem I'm having is this clamp right here. I need to loosen it up a little bit, I think. Because uh, neither, neither one of them want to go over this guy. So this is 2.5, 2.25. So I'm going to work on that some. And then uh, still got to put in the, fix the, the upper part. I think I'm just going to, like I was thinking about doing, have the bolt facing up. And then I'll just, have to go in with a, a ratchet to tighten it down um, that way and I'll angle it away from the uh, drive shaft that's going to give some unfortunately there's no good way because if I tighten it from the rear that cross member has got to come out and then you got to do the cross member pull the cross member out to take the exhaust out if I need to in the future this way at least I'll still be able to service it and if I angle the uh, bolt of the band clamp that way away from the drive shaft should be no different than if it was pointing downwards will be a little bit of a pain in the butt to tighten and loosen but i think it's the best of the of a bad situation with that it's just where the where the placement ends up being isn't is less than ideal okay so interesting enough these clamps are 5 8 i thought they would be a 15 but they are a 5 8 uh i'm gonna go get a 5 8 uh ratcheting socket so that I can do that easier up there and then I'm going to start putting this up this Y pipe comes uh, like this the tips are facing upward towards there um, so and then the exhaust will come in like so and we'll put it in I'm not going to put these in until I already got it on the stock hanger this one i haven't done this one over here yet but i'll cover that when i get to it i'm just going to go and try and get that a little bit more tightened up up there uh so that this thing is not as all over the place as it is right now all right so this is making the best of a bad situation uh, maybe uh, let's see it's about like that uh, that's not it 
All right, let's try this again. I might just actually come in here with this channel lock that I got. Boom. So this is a shallow channel lock with a 5 8 adapter on it. It should uh, be able to come in here all right. Yeah. Oh man, that's a pain just because the angle is out. Oh wait, there we go. Where am I? Let me let me try this. Anyway, I'm gonna try both things here and see what we can see if we can get this a little bit tightened up. All right, so I'm just gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Come down like this, and I think I'll be all right. So just gonna take some time. But I'm just going to continue to tighten this up and then we'll move to the back. Alright, so that's tightened up. There's a little bit of a gap here. I'm worried it might bang on this crossbar. That's an adjustment I can fix later if I need to or put a little piece of foam padding there. It does look like it's going to clear. I've got plenty of room between. It's pointed away from the uh, uh, drive shaft, so I shouldn't have any issues there, even if it kind of gets compressed up a little bit. I'm now moving back to the spec section here. So you just want to try and just get it pushed all the way in. Get your bang clamp about settled. Again, I'm going to use this channel lock uh, 5 8 These are nice because they're very shallow. I also have a hole for the bolt to come through. Uh, so I'm going to tighten that up. And just uh, get this straightened, keep it kind of straight as I get it. I'm not going to fully tighten it. I'm just going to get it to where it's mostly tight here also I wanted to cover a tool that I like to use a lot it's great for um, tight places that you need a ratchet to get into this is a channel lock uh, ultra access ratchet you can see it's got an opening here to let uh, bolts come through very low profile you basically just take these um, the size you need put it in there and that is how much room, how much more access you get over a standard uh, ratcheting wrench. Um, also, you can take these adapters and put them on a, um, just put them on a bolt and you can actually turn them with a regular wrench. Uh, it also has a socket extension uh, that you can use. And it also has a, an adapter to where you can use regular uh, 3 8 inch drive uh, sockets on it. Um, so this is a uh, a channel lock ultra access ratchet. Um, comes with a nice kit. Uh, part number 39100. I think you might be able to get it over at the uh, jungle site. Might have been where I got it. Um, maybe another place I'll have to look up but uh, you can search on that and find it somewhere maybe even at your local hardware store possibly although it is kind of a special uh, niche item so it might be hard to find but if you're gonna be uh, if you do a lot of work on vehicles a lot of tight spaces in vehicles now or with uh, weird bolts it's a good thing also um, all those uh, uh, sockets that come with it are both they're like dual use so it says like a half and a 13 and stuff like that so it, it works it's a it's a pretty versatile set and good to have for like uh auto work if you need it okay so this is I'm not fully tightened yet but i can still got a little bit of movement i can adjust it if i need to but it should stay in there uh, I'm now going to, so you can put the end, the bottom end of the hanger like this. And I'll show you here how this will go. Make sure you get your clamps on before you do this. Otherwise you're going to have to do this over again. So then you just kind of slide this over. Move it around. That's why you want to keep some play in this guy. Because you're going to need it over here. So... And we're going to need to get a lot more, get it in here a lot more than that. Yeah, so as you push this up, 
it will go in like so so you want it to be straight this should be fairly straight coming out the rear like that now i'm gonna go grab this other one and do the do the same here just hold on okay so once you get both of them in make sure that you have you want your uh, awe will be facing down because of course the vendor wants you to know that it's their stuff uh you're going to keep everything loose for right now uh, make sure you have your bolts face down on these clamps. I had to undo the clamps a little bit to get them to go on So we'll have to tighten them up a little bit more now Because uh, the clamps are slightly not perfect circle <coughs> Excuse me. So now uh, We're going to Not tighten everything up, but we're going to get it tighter than what it is So that we can still adjust everything. The only thing that's really tight is that up there okay so just real quick gonna get the tips on so that we can align this right um awe up slash going downward right uh you want to go ahead and go ahead and get the uh bolt started here and then uh slide them on so that you can properly align the whole system uh and this is going to be a trial and error all right as you can see these are not properly aligned at the moment so i need to drop the right side and raise the left side also it's a little bit cockeyed so i'm gonna continue to adjust this uh, this is why you don't tighten everything fully down uh, until you are ready so i'm gonna go work on getting this aligned and then after that we will conclude the last few steps all right let's see what this sounds like test drive tomorrow I'll take it off the lift so I want to make sure we still got some adjustments to do down below but here's what it sounds like in the cab I think with the I the HPA downpipe in that it's gonna be pretty vicious um, I like it we'll see what it sounds like when uh, we do some pulls tomorrow to conclude this video all right, a new day. Basically, uh, the only part we have left was to get the exhaust uh, aligned. I'm pretty happy. I gotta adjust the tips still, uh, but everything else is, is right. So I just have to go underneath here and the bolts for the band clamps, uh, the directions say, get each one at least uh, 40 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go under, get all the band clamps at 40 foot pounds. Uh, I'm then also going to install these collars that go at the end of the hangers on the rear uh, that AWE provides and also um, add some uh, blue Loctite to the uh, bolts for the exhaust tips just to make sure that they don't work themselves off and then this thing should be ready to roll. Alright, so I got that one torqued to... Uh, um, 40 plus foot pounds. I'm now going to do this guy and this guy over here. And then I will go up and do that one. I can't get the torque wrench into there, so we're just going to have to kind of guess on that one. Uh, just because the clearance between there and the drive shaft it doesn't allow this wrench to go in. So, but we can get it close. Okay, so we've torqued this bolt to 40 plus foot pounds, this bolt to 40 foot, foot, 40 foot pounds, and this bolt to 40 foot pounds. That one we've gotten pretty tight up there. I'm gonna say good enough. Uh, and now the final adjustment will be to put uh, this 
these uh, tip bolts. I gotta adjust the tips exactly where they need to be. I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on there and then I'm going to torque them to it says 11 foot pounds. So I'm gonna do that real quick, get them aligned, and uh, get that done. All right, these are now aligned. I'm gonna go in and fix one thing on the uh, downpipe that I'm not liking. Uh, and then we're gonna take this thing out for a spin and see how she does. Okay, just a quick update. I uh, came down to just kind of wipe off the exhaust, uh, try and get all the uh, my uh, hand oil off, just a little bit of cleaner on a towel. And I've heard the some rubbing right here against, there's a, this is the spare tire wheel. Uh, so basically I just came up underneath here and with my hands just pushed, this is just thin like thicker aluminum type stuff and you can move it out of the way with your hands so just kind of as you're working it you'll hear I could hear like a squeaking so it's coming from right here so I just kind of came up underneath there and moved out of the way <coughs> I think we've gotten everything done now let me just show you everything here from this is where the HPA uh, downpipe comes in I'm gonna put some uh, zip ties on this real quick and let's just come down still the HPA this section we're going to have a uh, call with HPA and AWE this is where the join happens to see if we can go get a just a three inch for both and a three inch band clamp and get rid of this restriction this is the only problem i have with the install and it's not the manufacturer's faults they're both designed to go from three from performance to stock performance to stock so this is the size of the stock downpipe so that is an understandable issue to have So this is ready to take down off of the, uh, the ramps here and ready for a test drive. Forgot one important step on this uh, installation it is the uh, installation of this of these collars. Well, they go on the end of the rear where the muffler hangs are right here and here. So these. Uh, pieces here go on there and they're just uh, basically like shaft collars. I'm going to install those real quick and show you that. Okay so that's what the uh, shaft collars will look like. They've got a little nut, uh, a bolt that goes through, an allen key. Comes with the allen key. Just make sure you get the flat side facing towards you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of um, blue Loctite on this and that'll be the conclusion all right can't move them they're on there good and tight just you don't want to over tighten those because i believe these are aluminum so you don't want to strip that out that'd be a bad day just uh i would recommend putting in the lock tight in those because being it on an exhaust it will uh it's going to vibrate a lot back here so uh, blue should be fine um and that will conclude the that's the final part that i forgot to do for my test drive but uh i'm going to put this in before the test drive but that is it there are none no collars for those other mounts uh they're kind of offset one going one way one going the other so these should keep it from going too far in each way and should be all you need all right let's see how she does
much louder than stock, which was to be expected. It is louder than what I thought it would be based on other reviews, but I think those just had the stock downpipe to the uh, uh, um, to the AWE. So this is significantly louder than those. There's actually like a little place here. back on because we're about ready to hit some place where I can hit 75. up over about 2600 rpms it really opens up stop again.
couple poles from dead stop up to some unknown speed limit and overall very happy with the turnout we'll see how it goes on a longer trip or something like that um, under diesel no louder didn't really tell there's a slight drone but nothing major so that's um So just to conclude this episode of Lance's Garage, this was the uh, install and a demonstration of the AWE exhaust on a uh, 2017 Golf Alltrack. Uh, this uh, Alltrack also already has an IS38 OEM Plus Turbo, an HPA Motors from HPA Motorsports, uh, an HPA Motorsports downpipe. And then that's connected to the AWE exhaust. Uh, if I am able to get the three inch adapters so that there's not that uh, 2.25 little section in the middle, I'll post a brief update to this video. Um, it is loud compared to stock. Um, that is something to consider. Uh, we'll see how it goes on longer trips. Very happy with the exhaust. The uh, turbo burps are, are great with this setup. Um, recommend it if you're into that, um, but if you're looking for something that's going to be calmer, um, probably not what you want to do. But uh, definitely performance gains on the turbo spool up. It doesn't feel as dead uh, below 2400 as it did before. Um, uh, the turbo on these IS38 Plus is really kicking about 2600. I believe it might have drop that down a hair to give it a little this to, to allow it to spool up a little quicker do the less restrictions um, I'll get some more driving time in to uh, verify that um, if you like this episode of Lance's garage please like and subscribe uh, we'll have some more content I don't know what else we can do to this guy right now it's pretty much about where I want it uh, I might do some suspension updates to go it has a uh, golf r springs now uh, might go to some ibox uh, that are built for it 
uh, in the future. Uh, but if you uh, like this episode of Lance's Garage, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, we've got some more content coming up with the uh, Firebird. Um, as you can see, I've got a much better driveway after the move to do work on. Also got a shop in the back there where we can get more work done uh, and, uh, for covered. Um, so hopefully be able to get some more content now that the move's done and, and I've got a lot of the stuff put away at the house. So again, thank you for watching this episode of uh, Lance's Garage.